in the name of Jesus Christ, and welcome to this service of lessons and carols at St. Andrew's Lutheran Church. This service includes contributions from nearly 20 different members and friends of St. Andrew's from near and far. We hope that it helps you to greet the Nativity of Christ with wonder and joy. Let us pray. Gracious God, through the ages you have sent your promise to your people in many ways, through many voices. But in these last days, your Son has come to bring it among us in person. Through your Spirit, 
prepare our hearts to recognize him in his many forms and to receive him as our Lord and Savior. Amen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. In the beginning was the same. reading from Genesis, the third chapter. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. And to the woman he said, I will greatly increase your pangs in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children, yet your desire shall be for your husband and he shall rule over you. And to the man he said, because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree about which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you. 
and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread until you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. A reading from Genesis, the 22nd chapter. Angel of the Lord called to Abraham the second time from heaven. And the angel said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because that you have done this I have not withheld your son your only son I will bless and you and your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand of the seashore your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies. Your, also, your offspring shall all the nations of the earth 
gain lusting for themselves because you have obeyed my voice, the word of the Lord. Prepare the way of the Lord, prepare the way of the Lord, that all people will see the salvation of our God. Prepare the way of the Lord, prepare the way of the Lord, that all the people will see the salvation of our God. A reading from Isaiah, the ninth chapter. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. The authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness, from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Here ends the reading. Lectura del profeta Isaías capítulo 11 De ese tronco que es Jesé sale un retoño. Un retoño brota de sus raíces. El Espíritu del Señor estará continuamente sobre él. Y le dará sabiduría, inteligencia, prudencia, fuerza, conocimiento y temor del Señor. Él no juzgará por la sola apariencia, ni dará su sentencia fundándose en rumores. Juzgará con justicia a los débiles y defenderá los derechos de los pobres del país. Sus palabras serán como una vara para castigar al violento, y con el soplo de su boca hará morir al malvado. Siempre irá revestido de justicia y verdad. Entonces el lobo y el cordero vivirán en paz. El tigre y el cabrito descansarán juntos. El becerro y el león crecerán uno al lado del otro. Y se dejarán guiar por un niño pequeño. La vaca y la osa serán amigas. Y sus crías descansarán juntas. El león comerá pasto como el buey. El niño podrá jugar en el hoyo de la cobra. Podrá meter la mano en el nido de la víbora. En todo mi monte santo no habrá quien haga da ningún daño. Porque así como el agua llena el mar, así el conocimiento del Señor llenará todo el país.
A reading from Luke, the first chapter. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Baby Jesus is born in Luke chapter 2, row through 7. Mary loved Joseph. Mary and Joseph were 
going to be married soon. Joseph lives in Nazareth, but his family lives in Bethlehem. A new leader named Caesar ordered all people to go back to the homeland. He wanted to count all the people in this king, so Mary and Joseph went to Bethlehem. Mary and Mary was going to have a baby soon. When they arrived to Bethlehem, they took for looked for a safe place to sleep, but all the inns were full. Finally, a man was able to help them. He said they did not have any rooms left, but you are welcome to sleep in the stable. Joseph made a well place for Mary to rest. While they were there, a little baby Jesus was born. Mary wrapped Jesus in strips of cloth and gently weighed him in a manger. from Luke chapter 2. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. 
For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you, and you will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of a heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. In the time of Herod the king, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pray to pay him homage. When Herod the king heard this, he was frightened, and all of and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and drew a Bethlehem in the land of Judea are by no means least that among the rulers of Judea, for, for from you shall come a ruler who, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent 
them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently, diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I so that I may also go and pay him homage homage. When they had heard the king, they set out. They out and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was when they saw that the star had stopped they were overwhelmed with joy on entering the house they saw the child with mary his mother and they knelt down and prayed him homage they opened their treasures chest and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Three kings have journeyed from the eastern land. A star has led them to Jordan's strand. And in A reading from John, the first chapter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. 
The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and warmth. Joining our voice with the song of the angels, let us pray for the church, our world, and all who are in need. God of glory, you sent your angels to proclaim the great joy of your coming. Come to your people today as you came to the shepherds on a hillside centuries ago and give us too a message of good news. Lift up any who feel alienated and rejected by earthly empires and prepare a place for all people in your kingdom. Reflect your glory in our lives and gladden our hearts with the promises of your saving grace. Feed those who hunger Heal those who are sick and grant freedom to those who are isolated or imprisoned. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God in the manger, you made yourself known in your son. And through a tiny baby, you revealed the wonders of your love. Inhabit the stories of our lives today as you inhabited the lives of all whom you encountered in Bethlehem. Like the wise men centuries ago, your people today search for meaning, truth, and hope. Dwell among us tonight 
and send your heavenly peace to troubled lands and war-torn countries. Be with those places in our cities, our country, and our world marked by violence. Bring peace to all the earth. Calm the anxieties of people living in fear. Make us a people who are eager to share hospitality with strangers and offer places of safety in the midst of uncertainty. In the little town of Bethlehem, as in Hickory, shine your everlasting light and allow the hopes and fears of all the years to be met in thee tonight. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God with us. The good news of Christmas is meant for every person in every time. In a quiet moment, we lift to your care someone for whom these holy days are a painful reminder of personal grief and loss. Be with any who feel an absence in their lives where your holy love should be and fill the lonely emptiness with the assurance of your constant presence. Console those in the midst of deep suffering, struggling, and searching. Continue to strengthen and sustain caregivers, healthcare workers, and all who offer hope and healing in the midst of this pandemic. Be with us in our happiness and in our sorrow and prepare a place for all people in your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you make this night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we may walk in the light of Christ's presence and in the last day wake with the brightness of your glory. Through your only Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who gathers us into one family and who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
as we welcome the Word made flesh. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the presence of the Christ child be yours. And may the blessings of God, creator, sustainer, and redeemer be with you now and always. Amen. <laughs>